Thank you very much for taking the time, first of all. Yeah. Um, you had a lovely talk, and I can say that you are uh, you have a lovely career. Um, and I would like to know what actually made you choose this career in the first place. Did was it somebody that uh, no guided you or just made you? I wanted to do technical stuff, and I wanted to do telecommunications. And that was it. And that was it. So I always oh, stayed time. on technical. So I was building my first radio with. 11 years, I was 11 years old, 12 years old. I didn't understood how it's working, but I was building it. <laughs> <laughs> very impressive, I must say. Um, there is a very big discussion nowadays about this glass ceiling. Did you experience this during your career? No. No? No, uh, actually no. In the companies, because I know that you've worked in various companies. Do you think there are some certain traits? that uh, actually facilitated your advance, your professional advance? Mm, no, actually I maybe I was having the chance to work in companies where if you were competent, it's okay, it doesn't matter if you are a woman or... Yeah. <laughs> I especially Man. like your description from our website, like uh, loving to learn foreign languages, traveling, gardening, reading music. If I would only have time for all my hobbies, and I noticed that you speak Romanian, German, English, French, Italian, Spanish, and Mandarin. And I wanted to ask you, how do you find the time? <laughs> I can tell you, I <laughs> always dream to have the day 48 hours long. It's very difficult, but this uh, languages I find it very bring me near to other cultures. And I would like really to learn more. And gardening is something that is fulfilling me with such joy. And it's sometimes I have very very long working days but in between is going <laughs> if you were to give an advice to, to the like to younger generation about a better time work life balance what would that be well to love your job this is the first thing okay and then it's really the job is not everything it's a part of your life first of all is the family so the balance is, has to be done by everyone, for him, herself, to define where it is. You need the two of them, but you have to love what you are doing. And then I think you have the feeling what you want to do and how is the way forward. Well, my personal impression right now is that uh, when we're talking about gender discrimination, somehow um, the men are lost in the picture. So would you also have an advice for the men? Because you've been working in a basically men-dominated environment and for the men to better understand the needs of the woman and to better accommodate and integrate inside the company. I, at least I didn't feel this. I think at the beginning you might have people that are a little bit skeptical when you begin at work, maybe more skeptical that they would be in front of a man. But poor performance can do the men, can do the women. I don't think that this is specific to the gender. And I do not know. I think men might get in the other way, in the opposite, to think that it's too much discussion on doing something specific for the women. We have a woman minister, we've had a <laughs> ministry in Austria, but no men, so they can also go the other way around. They are a part of the picture we have to live with all of us <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, is there something uh, some feedback some message for uh, our event uh, that you would like to transmit to the organizers to the participants uh, this is the, the opportunity <laughs> I think is I found it very good because and for me it's the first time I am participating in my whole career in such event. way uh, in such an event and I do not know if this is the solution, most probably not, but it's a way, it's a beginning, or it's somewhere in the middle, we can do something together, and we will not get to the 50-50%, but somehow to make the girls, the women understand as long as we are not fighting on power with a hammer, or on drinking, we are as good as everyone, <laughs> every man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.